Welcome to Numbers World. We are back again with another video of area and perimeter. Uh, when we have to find the missing length or width of a rectangle with the given area or perimeter. If you have no idea about area and perimeter, please watch my previous video. I can attach the link in the description so you can have the basic understanding of the concept. So let's just start this video. The first example is the area of a rectangle is 72 cm square. The width is 9 cm. What is the length of the rectangle? So the most important thing we need to do here is sort out the given information. We know about the area that is 72 centimeters square width, but the length is missing. So we will write question mark in front of it. Next, we are going to write the formula of area because we know about the area that is 72 centimeters square. So we will write the formula and put the values in the formula. So here we have written 72 centimeters square at the place of A and 9 cm at the place of W. L will remain as it is because it's our variable and we want to know about its value. So that's why we will move all the values that are written with L on the other side of the equal. And the second important thing is that we will take inverse of the operation that is between the value and the variable. So let's see how it happens. As 9 is written with the L, so we will move it on the other side and we will take the inverse of multiplication that is division. So when 9 will move on the left side of the equal, the operation will be changed into division. Usually we write the missing variable on the left side of the equal, but it doesn't make any difference because both sides are same. Doesn't matter you write left side first or right side first, both sides are same. So when we are going to divide 72 on 9, the answer will be 8 cm. That is our missing length. Let's move towards our example number 2. The perimeter of the rectangle is 24 cm. One of the sides is 8 cm. What is the area of the given rectangle? So let's sort out the given information first. Perimeter is equal to 24 cm and length is also given. But we need to find our width and area. So let's write the formula of perimeter because the value of perimeter is given. So that's why we are going to write the formula first and then put the values in the formula. Here I have written 24 centimeter at the place of P and 8 centimeter at the place of L because these values were given to us. So now we do not know anything about W. We want to know the value of the W. For that purpose, we are going to move our rest of the values on the other side of the equal. So let's start from the 2 because it's outside of the bracket. So, so we have to move 2 on the other side of the equal. So apparently, there is no operation between 2 and the bracket. But there is always multiplication in that case. So when 2 will move on the other side of the equal, that multiplication will be changed into division. 24 centimeter divided by 2 is equal to 12 centimeter. Now we have 8 written with W and we need this W alone on one side of the equal. So we will move 8 on the other side of the equal and the operation that is plus right now will be changed into minus. So 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 centimeter. Some of you might be noticing that I have written W on the left side of the equal now. When we write equal in the center, it doesn't matter that which side is coming first, left side or right side, because both are same. So any side can come first. Now let's find out the area. Write the formula of area, put the values, solve it, and the answer is 32 centimeter square. Let's start with example number three. The perimeter of a square is 40 centimeter. What is the area of the square? So let's sort out the given information first. The most important information here is that it's a square. So we know that the length and width of a square are same. Perimeter is 40 centimeter width. Width, length and area are missing here. So as it's a square and we know that the perimeter is the distance around the shape. If the whole distance is 40 centimeter and we are interested in knowing only one side of the square and there are four sides. So we will divide our perimeter on four. So in this way, we will get the information about the one side of the square. That is our length. 40 divided by 4 is equal to 10 centimeter. And it's a square. So obviously, width is also equal to length. So that is also 10 centimeter. Now, to find out the area, we should have two components, length and width. Both are present. So write the formula, put the values, and find out the answer. That is equal to 100 centimeter square. 
The last example is the area of a square is 81 centimeters square. What is the perimeter of the square? So the given information is that it's a square, so length and width will be same. Area is equal to 81 centimeter. Width, length, and perimeter we need to find. So let's start writing the formula of area that is equal to length multiplied by width. We have only one value present over here that we are going to put into our formula. Let's solve this question by using mental math. We already know that it's a square. So the same number will be used as length and width because both are same in square. So think about a number. If we multiply it by itself, the answer will be 81. Yes, it's 9. If width is equal to 9 cm and length as well, so we, when we multiply these two numbers, the answer will be 81 cm square. So it actually satisfies our both criteria that the length and width should be same. And secondly, if we multiply them, uh, we get 81 cm square. Now it's time to find the perimeter. So let's just write the formula and then put the values, sort it out, and then the answer is 36 cm. I hope you like my video so don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel. See you soon.